today's video will literally be about van life, but a different type of van life. Yeah. It was an awful joke. We're not, we're <laughs> not actually kitting out a van. We're not like, we didn't buy a Ford Transit van. And yeah. We're in a This city is the van. actual van life. In the city of van, not the vehicle. If you had a van in the city of van, it would be a van life van in the here, city look. of van. There's vans everywhere, look. Eastern <laughs> Turkish cities are known to have cars. weird names, right? Van, Batman. Cars. Batman is my favorite. Yeah, but I think they pronounce it Batman. But it's, it's Batman, of course. Batman. It's Batman. But we just uh, trivia for you. For humor trivia purposes. Trivia for you. Yeah. The council of, like, the government of the town of Batman, the city of Batman in Turkey, they sued actual the movie Batman, the '90s movie with Michael Keaton <laughs> that came out for using the name Batman. Because this Batman is actually older than the franchise character Batman, so... So we're almost at the castle, Wan Castle. Van Castle. Van Castle. How do you even get up there, man? There should be a road leading up to the castle. You don't have to climb. To walk. I hope, I hope so. Man. I'm done with climbing for today. Horse riding at the castle. We paid 12.5 liras for a ticket, which is about a pound a pound one pound yeah, yeah. One pound. <laughs> this water here is not drinkable because turkish people have a tendency to drink water from any fountain they find really? and we tend to declare every fountain sacred or we kind of say that they all have healing powers they come from underground sources so it might not be the best idea to drink any water you see Man, there's so many tourists from one of the post Yugoslav countries. I mean, they're speaking either Serbian, Croatian, or Bosnian, but like I, I cannot understand which one. But it sounds similar to Russian. But yeah, a huge group of tourists from one of the post Yugoslav countries. It's hot. Cars was colder. The shade is cool though. You go in the shade. It's 22, 23 degrees. And it's right. Yeah, and sun right above us. So it's not even <laughs> hard to climb up. It's 11 o'clock? 11.30? 11 11.35. Okay. Quite deep. Today, we can have fast food burger thing, oh, McDonald's KFC, or something, KFC. KFC. This is too KFC, man. Uh, I doubt they have KFC in one. Okay, we'll if go. they do, we do it. We'll if no McDonald's, McDonald's, if we don't have McDonald's, we get Burger King. Okay. Process of elimination. KFC, Mackey's, <laughs> BK. This looks like some kind of structure, yeah? Yeah, this Mount one. Montbrook or something, right? Montbrook, exactly. By the way, you know that one's population is 1.2 million. Really? It's the biggest city in Eastern Turkey. Wow. But if you consider Antep and Urfa, then Urfa is the biggest, then Antep, then Diyarbakir, then one. But these former three ones I counted, it's in Southeast, not really East. And here is a small prairie at the bottom of the castle. And I'm not sure if you can see, there is a small flock and a shepherd. Look at this old door of the mosque. It has some old Arabic texts and some old ornaments all carved on the wood. I think, you know what, on that map, mm -hmm. you there's 30 things. Yeah. Not just on the citadel, it's all around here. Yeah, here. So we'll have to drive there and we'll check these other buildings out. Yeah. 
and fellas from the top of the castle you can easily see Lake Van. So this lake is the largest inland water source in Turkey. Okay. Oh, man, right? oh, you can... How do you enter into the old town? Oh look, there's another mosque here. You see yeah, yeah. minaret of this one. We just saw this one and the church is somewhere there. I think there was two churches here and a couple of mosques, I think. Yeah. A lot of civilizations lived here, man. Yeah. So I guess there was an old synagogue here, but that's probably, not intact probably. right now. That's not standing. Yeah. And look, this citadel stretches all the way towards the end of this hill. So, Gritip, overall, the castle was impressive, wasn't, but it was not as cool as I thought it would be. I mean, yeah, most of the structures, the as I said, is at the foothill, yeah. not on top of the castle. For the views, it's fine. Yeah, as Gurdip said, for the views, the castle is fine. But if you want to see the historic structures, you have to tour the foothills of the castle at the bottom. I mean, up here, there are not that many places, to be frank. There's this old mosque, mud brick dwellings, citadels fortifications yeah, but apart from that I would argue if it's worth climbing all the way up because it's not an easy climb you have to climb over 20 minutes so as I said if you want to see the historic structures you don't have to climb but if you want to see the view of course it is worth climbing So we climbed down, drove all the way to the backside of the castle and we are at the foothills where all these historic structures are situated. Tombs, mosques, churches, old hamams. schools, hammams, yeah. We saw all these structures located around us. Where do we start? Should we just go around this way? Yeah, take a circle, I think. But there are no signboards here, right? I hope there is, but let's see. <laughs> Otherwise, we're going to keep looking at our map and be confused. Yeah, the facade is beautifully designed. And here, look at this, man. Yeah, in Turkish, it's written, Sen benim çocukluğumdun. They wrote it on the walls of the mosque. You were my childhood. Some deep love, heartbreak stuff going on here. And they had to express themselves all of this mosque. I'm going inside. Oh uh, no, the door is locked. The castle is here fellas and Van Lake is here and again we're going towards the eastern part of the castle right now. Tell you what it is, it's Marif Binalari, Ulusal Binalari, Tofane, Teklafi Har, Zaptie Karakolu, Reji, Beledie, Telegraph Okul. All here, whatever the hell that is, I've no idea. Civil structures. Oh, just all civil no military, nothing really, just no, just civil administrative okay, buildings. Uh... Man, frankly, I was expecting. This place to have better tourist organization. There are no signboards, nothing. There was only a big map at the castle with the names of the structure, but nothing about the history of these places. And these old civil buildings, civil administration buildings, mosques, churches, caravanserais, tombstones. They're not frankly that well preserved here. So that was a little bummer. So slightly disappointed, but still, this is of course that this place is worth seeing. Number 38 is Surp Sahak Kilesi. Okay, so this is the Surp Sahak Church. Sahak, right? Sahak. Surp Sahak Church. And this structure is Ulujami Grand Mosque. Ulu means grand? What? 
Ulu means grand? Yeah, Ulu means grand. Okay, because every town like, I go Ulu, to, yeah. It has a little more divine meaning. Ulu means like something divine and grand at the same time. But you don't use it to define daily life yeah, stuff. Every, ta every town in Turkey practically has a Ulu Cami. Yeah, yeah, Erzurum Ulu Cami, yeah, Sivas Ulu Cami. Diyarbakır. Diyarbakır Ulu Cami, of course. And the walls of the church has collapsed. So you can see a small window here. And the roof collapsed, obviously. You see the ground is uneven. Some natural depressions on the ground. Gurdip, some dudes were drinking here. Johnny Walker, Red Label. Coming. I think this was like an apse of the church that's like coming one. Oh yeah. I think gaps of the church. Yeah, some locals come here, drink stuff. The ground is full of beer bottles, wine bottles. I just saw a whiskey bottle. Yeah, again, here inside the Ulu Jami, the Grand Mosque, some people, they had, I think they do drugs here too. And again, here, beer bottles, and only the minaret is intact, but all of these sacred sites are desecrated, man. Pretty much. Sad. Yeah, on the walls of the mosques, graffiti is just like the ones we saw in the church. Graffiti is here. Let me try to translate. Her şeyin ilacı zaman. Okay, no, we don't read the one at the bottom. It's a curse word. Her şeyin ilacı zaman. Do you know what's her şeyin ilacı zaman? Zaman is time. Yeah, time cures everything. It's true. Do you believe in that? Yeah. Do you agree with the statement? I agree. Good. And again, plastic bottles inside the minaret. I guess dark, so I don't know if you could actually... I don't think it's light here. Yeah. I'm scared of dark. Sorry, no, keep coming. Uh, you get my GoPro, I'll stay down. I'm kind of scared of dark and bats and <laughs> pigeons. Film yeah. it steady, bro. I'll be waiting you downstairs. All right, let me just get the flashlight and the camera. He's chickened out. <laughs> it's just me. He steps on. Exactly. Perfect. Ah. Uh, see some daylight let's go okay it's a window okay Any more Citadel, stone structures and buildings that went to the bedrock. And yeah, and there's Argon. Argon, say hello. Our buddy Seyman is in love. Seyman. <laughs> or he was, or he is. I don't know when he yeah, let's, did uh, this. Let's 
Yeah, and these graffitis on the walls are so cheesy. Like he, this guy wrote ball pits in my honeycomb. It's, it's so tacky, cheesy, so cringy. Pretty from from these mosques, I get a lot of Central Asian Turkic architecture vibes. Hundred percent Central Asian style. Yeah, maybe with some Persian influence as well. Yeah, of course, it could be, could be. And like uh, these really reminds me of the places, all these ancient ruins in Samarkand and Bukhara, the specific architectural style. I mean, these bricks, I'm sure they call them like Persian bricks. These bricks are thin. Could be, could be. But definitely, this is like Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan. Yeah, I mean. Wonder where the mirab is. And this is the base of the mosque. You see these pillars, but there's no roof obviously. There is only this minaret. This is the second mosque. And the minaret is not that intact. I see large cracks on the structure. That's why the gate is blocked. 